Chers amis, bonjour. Vous êtes sur la bonne chaîne BON. Hi, fellow viewers. You're watching BON. Welcome to share my daily tricks for learning Chinese. 欢迎收看每日汉语节教. My name is Francis Chiege, and it's good to have you there today so we can share more tips and tricks about birthdays in Chinese. So if you're ready, vous êtes prêts? Ça va commencer bientôt. A few centuries BC, the great Chinese philosopher Zhuangzi said, Shui liu hu wu xiang, fa xie hu tai qing, which means, a stream of water runs without a fixed cause from nowhere and it flows towards the quiet nature. Hi again, ta jia hao, welcome back on BON, you're watching Tricks for Learning Chinese. And today we'll continue our series about Shengru, that is birthday in Chinese. Thanks to this fellow viewer from Ohio whose friend, whose Chinese friend is about to celebrate his birthday. And actually we encourage any viewer to also contact us anytime if you had any coming event or any special context in which you need to say or write a Chinese expression. I'll be very glad to have you build that, you know, in the most standard way. Actually, I'll share with you all my tricks for learning Chinese. First of all, if you're watching our program for the very first time today, then here's the key for you to step in and follow up everything with others. The basic four tones, very important. La, 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 la. This is the very first thing to know. Just like the very first thing to know before writing English is the 26 letters of the alphabet. Whatever syllable you pronounce in Chinese should be pronounced with one of those four tones. La, 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 la. If you misuse the tones, you might completely change the meaning of what you're saying. So the tones are, remember them, ma, 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 ma. Good to keep in mind. For instance, we saw how to say happy birthday. Happy birthday. And we even saw how to write it. You remember, we saw the order of strokes. Let me remind you first. Here's the way to pronounce it. And the tones are Sheng, first tone. Ru, Kwai, Lu. Be careful. This, you cannot say Lu or Li, I don't know. Like in English, no. You pronounce it Lu, Lu, Lu. Sheng, Ru, Kwai, Lu. And we also saw how to go and order a birthday cake, you know, that we call in Chinese, 生日蛋糕, 生日蛋糕. Remember the video we saw? Someone goes to the bakery to order a birthday cake and so on. Have a look again. 欢迎光临,你好,需要什么?生日蛋糕,生日蛋糕,这边看,不错。有您可以定做,什么时候过的生日,后天,来得及吗?来得及,您大概需要几根蜡烛?蜡烛啊,不知道。过生日的人多大了?三十岁了。那您就来三根大蜡烛吧。行,好的。So, when you talk about birthday, you often talk about age. How old are you? All these kind of things. Today we'll be talking about the Chinese zodiac. As you know, the Western zodiac is made of 12 symbols that run within the year, like balance, fish, lion, virgin, and so on. In China, there is a traditional zodiac. That's a cycle of 12 years. Each year is represented by an animal. For instance, you have the year of rat. That's, that was uh, 2008, for instance, last year. The year of buffalo, 
2009, the one we are going across, the year of tiger, the year of rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, rooster, duck, and pig. Of course, you all pronounce them in Chinese, all those animals. So you have shu, niu, hu, tu, long, she, ma, yang, ho, ji, go, zhu. These are the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac. And as we said, each animal corresponds to a year, not to a month. So to often ask somebody's age, sometimes you don't, need, you don't just need to say, uh, how old are you? That, seems, that sounds too direct. You can ask, what animal represents you? In this case, any Chinese person understands what you mean. And somebody will tell you something like, well, I'm from, I represent the dragon, or maybe the rat, or the pig, and so on. So by knowing somebody's zodiac sign, you can guess his age. That's the way it goes in China. You often hear it in Chinese. People will ask, hey, 你属什么呢? 你属什么呢? It means, which animal do you represent, actually? Or which animal represents you? It's another way to say, what is your zodiac sign? And since you have one animal, and you have a total a cycle of 12 years, of 12 animals, that means each animal comes after a cycle of 12 years. So it's easy to guess. If somebody says he belongs to rat, and he looks like between 20 and 30, then you can easily guess. Rat, last year was the rat year. It was 2008. So you can make a short calculation and see. So that is a kind of polite way to ask somebody's age. But the most direct way, of course, is to ask, 你今年多大? 你今年多大? Like, how old are you this year? How old are you? 你今年多大? 今年 means this year. Remember, we saw 今天 for today. 明天 tomorrow. 天 means the day. So you replace 天 by the year. That is 年. So instead of 今天, 明天, that means today and tomorrow, you can replace 天 and say 今年 or 明年. You see? Let's write it to make it clear. So you see, say, how old are you? We often don't need to say this year, because when you're asking how old are you, of course it's about this year, it's not about 10 years ago or, or next year. How old are you? So in English, we often don't precise this, this year. But in a Chinese oral habit, we often say, 你今年多大? Like, how old are you this year, if you translate literally. So, 你多大了? means how old are you? Just simply, how old are you? 你多大了? 你多大了? Ni多大了? How old are you? And this last syllable, l is also toneless. Remember, you, we saw toneless syllable like Ma, ni he cha ma, remember that? So this l also doesn't have any tone. So ni to ta le. Be careful, this is not y, this is i with the tone mark. So ni to ta le. And we often say ni jin yen to ta le. Like, how old are you this year? Ni jin yen to ta le. And jin yen actually, this 
今年 means this year. 今天 today. 今天今天明天 remember. 明天见 see you tomorrow. 你今天来吗 Are you coming today? 今天 So 今天明天 This represent. 今 represent the present, and 明 the coming future in terms of like tomorrow or next year. So 今年年 actually means year. 今年今年 means this year, and 明年 means next year. So you see, you have this particle 明 In this context, it means the coming. But Ming also have other meanings that we see later on, like bright, clear, and so on. But here, when you put it with Tian, it's about the next, the coming, the next day, or the next year, the coming day, the coming year. Jin Tian, today. Jin Nian, this year. Ni Jin Nian duo da le. Wo Jin Nian san shi jiu. You can say Wo Jin Nian. 二十二。And in the next program, we'll see how to reply exactly. Like, well, I am thirty, I am seventy, and this will be a chance for us to practice our numbers that we saw last time. We also saw how to count these with fingers. We're going to review all that in the coming classes. Like, 一、二、三、四。五、六、七、八、九、十 ，and we see bigger numbers and see now how to reply. How old are you? No matter what your age, you'll be able to say it in Chinese. Like 我今年二十岁 ，I am twenty this year. 二十岁，我三十九岁 ，I am thirty-nine this year, and so on. So don't miss the appointment. That will be a good chance. To learn something new and to review what we already know. <音楽>好了，那我们今天的节目到这就要结束了。感谢您的收看，让我们明天同一个时间在蓝海电视相会。Well, fellow viewers, that's it for today's program. Let's meet again tomorrow on BON same time with more tricks. I'm Francis Chege. Thanks for watching. Au revoir, à demain. Bis morgen. 再见，明天见。像一阵细雨洒落我心里，那感觉如此神秘。我不禁抬起头看着你，而你并不露痕迹。虽然。This is the very first thing to know. Just like the very first thing to know before writing English is the 26 letters of the alphabet. Whatever syllable you pronounce in Chinese should be pronounced with one of those four tones: la, 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 la. If you misuse the tones, you might completely change the meaning of what you are saying. So the tones are: remember them: ma, ma, ma. Chers amis, bonjour. Vous êtes sur la bonne chaîne BON. Hi, fellow viewers. You're watching BON. Welcome to share my daily tricks for learning Chinese. 欢迎收看每日汉语诀窍 My name is Francis Chege, and it's good to have you there today, so we can share more tips and tricks about birthdays in Chinese. So, if you're ready, vous êtes prêts? Ça va commencer bientôt.
A few centuries BC, the great Chinese philosopher Zhuangzi said, Shui liu hu wu xiang, fa xie hu tai qing, which means, a stream of water runs without a fixed course from nowhere and it flows towards the quiet nature. Hi again, 大家好, welcome back on BON. You're watching Tricks for Learning Chinese. 您正在收看的是每日汉语节教, and today we'll continue our series about 生日, that is birthday in Chinese. Thanks to this fellow viewer from Ohio, whose friend, whose Chinese friend is about to celebrate his birthday. And actually we encourage any viewer to also contact us anytime if you had any coming event or any special context in which you need to say or write a Chinese expression. I'll be very glad to have you build that, you know, in the most standard way. Actually, I'll share with you all my tricks for learning Chinese. First of all, if you are watching our program for the very first time today, then here's the key for you to step in and follow up everything with others. The basic four tones, very important. La, la, la. La. 